The murder case of a Huntsville police officer began in 2018 after William Ben Darby was indicted for the on-duty shooting death of Jeffrey Parker in Parker's home. Now, Parker had called 911 saying he was suicidal. Darby's case went to trial last year. He testified he shot Parker after Parker refused to put down the gun he was holding to his own head. Two other officers were there at the time. A jury found Darby guilty of murder and he was sentenced to 25 years in prison. Now Darby appealed and the Alabama Court of Criminal Appeals took the unusual step of ordering oral arguments in this case. And those happened yesterday at Samford University down in Birmingham. News 19 Chief Investigative Reporter Brian Lawson covered that event. George is now in the studio. Brian? Right, so the two sides were each given a half hour to argue. The court had asked them to address jury instructions and Darby's right to a public trial. The defense claimed the trial judge is turning off, on some occasions, a camera that gave a live feed to the trial to media and other spectators. That closing, that amounted to closing the trial, they argued. The defense says that violated Darby's constitutional right to a public trial. That was the focus of much of the argument yesterday. Darby sitting in one courtroom and there's a live stream room in another part of the courthouse. That's an extension of that courthouse. There's, okay. there's a, a line that feeds to that courtroom. Once that feed goes off, but action is still continuing inside of the court, whether it's testimony of witnesses, objections on a, punch, a potential suppression issue, which is exactly what happened in his case, and I yeah. can get in specific, into specifics if we need to, but once that's cut off, that creates the total closure, and that's exactly what happened here. So yes, the live stream yeah. room is an extension of that court, but as soon as that feed is cut off and action continues in the courtroom, then you have a, a closed court. The state of Alabama says Darby's rights weren't violated. The courts have made it clear that even if you are in a courtroom, you are not, a lot, you're not necessarily going to be able to hear everything that is said. They've made it clear that not all observers may be allowed, or not allowed, I take that back, would not be able to see every single piece of evidence in an open court pre and post COVID, that that itself is not a violation of a public trial, right? And so why would this be a violation of the public right? It's not. The court asked, what should happen next? So should this court send it back to the trial court now for those findings, or should are you asking this court just to reverse the? Your Honor, I'm asking the court to reverse this case and send it back for a new trial because it's a structural error that occurred here. And when a structural error occurs, that's the remedy that's available. Now coming up at five, we'll have more from Thursday's proceedings when the focus shifted to jury instructions on the use of force by a police officer. Jerry?